help you succeed in life, my darling, I am bestowing on you a great deal of excellent things. Among them are benefits, marvels, and an abundance. Because of the depth of my love for you, my life will be overflowing with joy, and you could even experience every moment to the maximum. Instead of being fleeting or superficial, this delight will now be deep, real, and permanent. The pleasure and contentment it brings will affect every aspect of your life. Every morning when you wake up, you will have an immense feeling of gratitude. The first light of day serves as a continual reminder of the infinite potential that exists in every new day. Happiness may be found in the smallest of things, things like waking up to the sound of birdsong, the scent of freshly brewed coffee, or the warmth of the sun on your skin may be quite uplifting. Additionally, the people closest to you have the power to make your life brighter and you will value the moments you share with them. Deeper connections may be formed by sharing tales and recognizing the special features of the people around you. These talks can be filled with love, laughter, and unique experiences. No matter what you do for a living or how far you go in school, you can be certain that it will enrich your life in ways you can't imagine. You will feel accomplished when you turn even the most routine jobs into chances to learn and advance. You will discover ways to remain joyful even when you are confronted with adversity. You might look at these challenges as opportunities to become stronger and more resilient. Because you have an amazing mentality that lets you overcome obstacles, you will get stronger and wiser with each one you encounter. Determine your level of mental and physical fitness it is likely that spring will bring you much delight. Physical activities that keep you healthy and energized are a great way to take care of your physical self. Relaxation and serenity could overtake you. Take advantage of this all-encompassing health to live life to the fullest. Additionally, you will have joy that is not tied to any one faith. You may experience a deeper communion with the celestial prayer as your faith deepens. By meditating or staring into a peaceful mirror image, one may find peace and guidance. This religious victory, I pray, will be an everlasting testimony of my devotion to you and my interest in your life. You might be surprised at how quickly each season passes and anticipate frequently finding joy in the beauty of nature. The boundless sky and elaborate leaf patterns of nature will be a refuge and source of inspiration as we approach the approaching season's brilliance and magnificence. Another thing you'll like doing is helping other people. No matter how large or small, you will get delight from doing acts of kindness. Making a difference in someone else's life, no matter how little, is really rewarding. Having talents in any field of expression, be it the arts, writing, cooking, or anything else, has the ability to provide happiness. Perhaps you find fulfillment in using your abilities and imagination in meaningful ways. You now have a way to express yourself creatively that serves a dual purpose, displaying your pride to the world and improving people's lives via your artwork. Maybe you'll discover that music makes you happy. Feelings of warmth, serenity and optimism may be awakened by listening to music. Any kind of musical expression, whether it's listening, singing or playing an instrument, may provide joy and serenity. Every day, you'll look forward to gaining knowledge and honing your abilities. Every new ability you develop and piece of knowledge you absorb may bring you happiness. A lively mind that is open to new ideas may be maintained through lifelong learning. One of the many possible joys of tours and travel is the opportunity to see new sights, experience other cultures and meet interesting people your life will be more fulfilling and full of new insights when you make connections with other people. The stories and recollections you create from such encounters will be priceless. Perhaps you find solace and relaxation in your home. Feel free to be yourself and totally at peace there. No matter what you're in the mood for, a wild family feast, some peace and quiet on the grass, or a cozy evening in with a good book, your property can provide. Sometimes, even just getting from point A to point B in life may be an exciting trip. Through the ups and downs, you will grow. 
Every part of your life will have its own set of challenges and joys, because you will see how each level contributes to the gorgeous tapestry of your life. You will eagerly embrace them all. Even when you're alone, you may not feel lonely anymore. Think of these quiet times as opportunities to reflect on your life and develop as a person. Spending time alone will help you relax, think, and recharge. Because of your upbeat demeanor and contagious enthusiasm, you will motivate others around you, and they will find hope and encouragement in you. Remember first and foremost that this joy is an expression of my love for you. It is a representation of the rich life I have promised. Every happy moment will have my touch, and as we share in each other's delight, you'll understand how much I care. My part in bringing people together and inspiring love and camaraderie is something for which you may be thankful. Meeting up with loved ones and attending other social events will transform into opportunities for you to experience the delight I have in store for you as you get older. Rather than fading, this joy will only intensify. You could feel fulfilled and grateful when you go back to your life. If you are eager to attract large quantities of money, read the link in the comment area to learn the devastating wealth secrets found by an irate NASA scientist. Your life's experiences, memories, and identity will weave together to create a beautiful tapestry of a life well lived. Telling tales together may provide you with delight that lasts a lifetime. Leaving a legacy of love and wisdom to the youth of today via your offspring, grandchildren, or other youth around you. It will bring you great delight to see them as they develop, learn about themselves, and go on adventures. Your infectious passion, love, and pleasure may linger long after you've gone. If you set aside time for quiet contemplation of God, you may discover delight in the mysteries of the universe. The serenity of a sunset, the majesty of the night sky, and the enigma of introduction will all speak to you. You will have a profound sense of oneness with the cosmos once it occurs. A sense of fulfillment will wash over you as you work tirelessly to realize your dreams and ambitions. You can also feel a surge of happiness and contentment. In spite of the fact that you will encounter obstacles along the way, you will discover the importance of following guidelines and that even the most mundane of activities may lead to success. The things you perform on a regular basis, such as your routine duties, will really make you happy. Finding purpose in helping others, both near you and far away, may be possible even in the depths of loss. You will not be alone because my love and comfort will sustain you. You may find pleasure even in these trying circumstances by knowing that every event shapes you and adds dimension to your character. By showing kindness and compassion, you will be able to look beyond the short-lived pain and into the eternal happiness that awaits you. When you make other people happy, your own happiness grows. You receive more in return for your small investment, as the old adage goes. No matter how large or small, doing an act of kindness may provide happiness and satisfaction. Another thing that makes you happy is when you succeed at tough tasks. Your resolve and persistence will be on display with every victory, no matter how little. Your achievements may be a continual testament to the guidance and assistance I have given you. You will find the greatest joy on your trip with me, whether we are united in silent awe, prayer, or worship. Discover an indescribable delight. My love, my word, and my pledge will always be there for you to make you happy and comfortable. The Christian community is warm and welcoming, almost like a big family. Feel free to drop by and join us for some fellowship, worship, and nourishment. Such relationships will strengthen your faith while also enriching your life with love, support, and pleasure. Whatever shape your artistic endeavors take, they will always mirror your unique personality. Doing these things will let you unwind in nature while also giving your imagination a workout. Wherever you go, you may stumble into an oasis of joy. The breathtaking scenery, which ranges from forests and mountains to rivers and deserts, will move you to tears and leave you speechless as you recount your tale. Consider a suggestion as a potential adventure. Your testimony about the transformative power of religion and joy in your life 
will inspire and motivate others. You have the ability to provide happiness and fulfillment to individuals, no matter what they're going through in life. Your pleasure will no longer be conditional on anything outside of me. Rather, it will shine brightly through your life, guiding you, calming you, and strengthening you, my dearly loved child. The existence of pleasure needs to be included. I resolve to keep my heart brimming with gratitude and desire every single day. My affection for you will fill you with unbounded joy and grandeur that no one can diminish. Never forget that I am by your side, bestowing my love and blessings on you, and making each moment more special by being here with you. By putting their faith in God's plan, his beloved child will be led to victory. Even if it deviates from your expectations, this victory is likely to be tailor-made for you. I am sure of the technique of my plan and where I am headed, even if the path ahead could be unclear. Every step, no matter how unsure it may seem, is really a part of a larger journey. Problems aren't there to derail you. On the contrary, they're here to make you stronger. With the right information and enough determination, you can conquer any obstacle. Success isn't about winning every time. It's about learning to adapt to and overcome adversity. Keep this in mind, no matter what has occurred to you. God is with me, and I may use these trials as chances to show my strength, not as signs that I am absent. In times of perplexity or wandering, seek my face in prayer. Such verbal conversations will provide you with comfort and guidance. No matter what, you can count on me to listen and provide words of love and support. Prayer is the bond that binds our hearts, and the prayers you provide are very meaningful. Along the path of your life, you will encounter a crossroads. As you confront the challenging process of decision-making, have faith that I am leading the way. No matter where you go, I will be by your side to guide you back. No matter how big a mistake, it cannot derail the strategy I have prepared for you. You may need to be patient if you decide to follow my strategy. Although the results of your faith may not be visible right away, you should be patient because there will be a time when you will know exactly why something took longer than anticipated. To be patient is to wait with conviction and longing, not just readiness. Be kind and helpful to everyone you meet at all times. I have these kinds of things in store for you. How you interact with others has the power to change their lives. Someone else's day could get a much needed boost from your selfless deeds. Find out what you're capable of with the abilities I've given you. Do not delay in implementing them. Doing so will benefit not only yourself, but also others around you. The individuals in your life will get my love and benefits because of you. By using your skills, you have a better chance of achieving pleasure and success. There may be times of sadness as you go through this. Do not worry. I will be by your side, providing you with peace and comfort. Loss is a natural part of loving, not a sign of weakness. No matter how bad things go, just knowing that I am here will bring an electric current through your life. Embrace the serenity of your surroundings. Take in the grandeur of nature and savor the happiness that comes from connecting with others. For example, a peaceful moment is a gift from me. I hope you may use them as symbols of my love and care for you. Your religious journey narrative will make an impression. Telling others about your studies and how you've seen my hand at work in your life will encourage them. Your narrative shines a light on a world that may be so dark at times. The impact you have on other people is a true indicator of your success. No matter how big your achievements are, the love and support you provide to others may be more lasting and meaningful. Reason being, being successful entails more than just material possessions. It entails making a meaningful impact throughout one's life. There will be joy and celebration throughout all of these periods. It is important that you convey your appreciation. One advantage of developing an attitude of thankfulness is that it helps you keep your heart humble and count your blessings. All the wonderful things you appreciate have their origins in me. You may experience times of scarcity and hardship. I can make it happen, and that sounds fine to me. Your needs will be met, 
and it will be first rate for you on the inside, but not in the manner you expect. While resources are scarce, your trust will be high while important choices are being considered. I am trying to amass my knowledge via introspection, prayer, and the counsel of the wise. By following my guidance, you will discover paths that lead to justice and tranquility, and you will succeed. One of the best parts of living is helping other people, no matter the context, your profession, your charitable work, or even our casual encounters. Your service counts. You are a living representation of my compassion and love. What you put in is what you get out when you give. Lots of people deal with feelings of worthlessness and inadequacy. Keep in mind how much I appreciate you, even when things get tough. You made this with a plan and an objective in mind. My precious little one, who you are now, determines your value, not what you do. I have been there for you every step of the way, and as you get older, your authentic personality will shine through. My presence is intricately woven into the very essence of who you are. The great plan I have for you is carefully woven throughout all the ups and downs, the triumphs and defeats. I love you, God, while I follow this path of faith. I bet you could make people want to track me down. Being so trustworthy and committed could be an encouragement to many around you. Your ability to remain calm and composed in the face of adversity will enchant them, and they will be drawn to the source of your dream. I promise that you will be a living testimony to my faithfulness and virtue. Remember that there are times when embracing the lowlands brings greater joy than conquering mountains. The quieter, less dramatic events of life may have greater significance. These experiences form your character and strengthen your faith. There will be moments of profound insight. During these epiphanies, you will be led and your writing will become clear. They may be my tokens of affection, given to you to show you the way and explain my plan for your life. For the lives I've created, downtime and renewal are regular occurrences. Maybe they will be for you too. After a good night's sleep, you could feel revitalized and prepared to take on the next stage of your journey. My victory for you depends on your ability to forgive others. And when you do, you will discover that freedom and forgiveness are key ingredients. In doing so, it opens the door to healing and forgiveness by releasing resentment and blame. To help you find your way, keep in mind that I am here. As you face the challenges of your lifestyle, you may find comfort and support in me. My love for you will never fade, and it may serve as a rock around which you can construct your life. As you accept my plan, you will find a sense of purpose that surpasses personal goals. More important than any personal achievements you may have is living out the specific mission I have for you in this world. During my time, there are other ways that you may learn to rely on. Regardless of your efforts to alter it, my timing is consistently impeccable. The majority of the time, it appears that the arrangements for anything also cause delays. Once my time arrives, everything will be in harmony. Remember to be kind and thankful when you discuss your faith while you're alone. Your words and deeds should mirror my affection and attractiveness. People around you may find love and happiness as a result of your sharing your religion. Connecting with other Christians in communion will also provide you with the thrilling sensation of being part of a network. If you want love, support and purpose, joining forces could be the way to go. Joining together in worship, service and learning can strengthen your faith. I want you to know that I am here for you whenever you need me, even if there are moments when you feel sad or hurt along the way. Discover that my energy is at its strongest when you're at your weakest. I pray that such reports will deepen your trust in me and help you comprehend my love. Come along with me on this adventure and you will discover the meaning of success. The emphasis has changed from achieving success to living a life that reflects my love and magnificence. You will be an example of a successful and fulfilling life to everyone around you just by being yourself. You are my cherished child and my affection for you will never waver. I take great pleasure in your assent to my plan, which, if you adhere to it precisely, 
will provide you both a future and all you want. Go forth with confidence and faith, my darling child, because I am always leading you to victory. In the event that your journey encounters unforeseen obstacles, know that I will be by your side the whole time. At the end, you will realize that my plan for you is perfect and lovely. Faith in God's plan is shown through many lives and results in this epic novel, which aims to represent the notion of divine direction and victory. The story stresses strength and growth and culminates in the triumph of love and religion. You should never doubt my capacity to provide for you, my dear child, for I am the one provider of wealth and plenty in this vast universe, says God. I planned galaxies and sketched every valley, river, and mountain. The limitless enthusiasm and warmth I pour into my creations are proof of it. It would benefit you to learn about birds as I provide food for them. Neither do they weave nor collect, nor do they keep goods in barns. Is it not true that you are now worth much more than they are? I will take care of you the way I take care of these creatures. Trust me, my unwavering love for you and my sizable wealth are backing up my promise. My beloved, you must always keep in mind that the things that really matter in life are not things that can be bought with money, but rather the qualities of love, joy, peace, persistence, generosity, faithfulness, kindness, and resolve. Those are the most priceless presents someone could get, and I provide them without condition. Have no fear. Instead, pray to me about your problems, and I will hear you. My answers may fall short of your expectations at times, but I promise that my plans for you will be exactly what you've been hoping for. Is the tale of the two loaves and the fish still fresh in your mind? I multiplied the food supply by two fish and five loaves of bread. This miracle is proof that I can double your resources. What are you waiting for? Just give me what you have. How amazing would it be if I used it for something? There is no need to worry about today since tomorrow will be taken care of. On a daily basis, fresh difficulties emerge. Look about you. I'm already providing for you in many ways, from the oxygen you breathe to the affection of a big family and friends. Pay attention to that instead. I am omnipresent in my advantages. Always keep in mind, my love, that our paths diverge and that my ideas aren't always the best ones. The skies are higher than the ground, and so are my methods and ideas, which are superior to yours. I am confident in my timing and competence because I can see the bigger picture of your life. We are primarily pursuing my kingdom and righteousness, and I will grant them to you if you desire them. If your connection with me is the driving force behind your lifestyle choices, then all of your needs will be met in due course as you navigate life's path. Problems may arise, however, they are not signs that I am not with you. Rather, they are chances for your trust to strengthen. Do not waver in your trust in me. Really, I am with you. Be careful to share the benefits with other people. If you accomplish this, my love and supply can go out to every country in the world. Because your kindness mirrors mine, and because there are more benefits to giving, I want you to know that I can provide for you, my darling. There is no limit to my love for you, and I am the source of all good fortune. The Bible says that you will have a $10 million windfall from somewhere you can't even begin to fathom, my sweet little one. There is an extraordinary amount of responsibility that comes with this tremendous gift. There will be an examination of your moral fiber as well as your faith. Keep in mind the source from which this favor has been granted. You did not deserve this good fortune. It was my desire that brought it to pass. It is a gift so it is appropriate to accept it with humility and gratitude. Quit thinking about other people before yourself and put this money to good use, helping those in need. Think about how these riches may be used most effectively. The number of people affected by poverty, illness, and unfair treatment is quite large. You may be able to help them out with this money. Someone has given you the ability to make a huge difference in the world. Use it with caution. Press the button to subscribe. Make sure that you don't lose who you are as a person because you put your trust in Jesus. Priorities change and judgment gets hazy when funds are limited. 
Keep on living a life of simplicity and compassion, just as you did before this gift came your way. Any advice on how to make the most of this wonderful fortune would be really appreciated. With an amount of this size, it's easy to lose. You may learn from the experiences of others how to best invest this sum of money. Take their advice into consideration, but ultimately, you must follow your conscience. Donate this money to deserving charities, people you care about, or those who are struggling financially. Do not hoard it for yourself. Finally, this money has come, so you may let it go. Your loved ones should be your first priority. This present opens doors for you to assist them in ways you might never have imagined. But consider the ways in which financial counseling may promote relationships, encourage independence, and impact one's capacity to make one's own decisions. Remember to also put money into yourself. Invest in yourself, whether that's via health, education, or self-improvement, with a portion of this money, and you'll have a better life. Prioritizing self-investment will give you more sway over other people to think about their own destinies. Despite its size, $10 million may go in an instant if not managed correctly. Consider how you and others you care about can live comfortably with the money you have now. Finally, take this opportunity to appreciate this gift. You may want to go above and beyond merely saying thank you to demonstrate your gratitude. We pray that this stroke of luck will show the world how religion and kindness can change lives. It is crucial that you stay true to your principles, eat generously, exercise proper self-control, and express gratitude as you accept this financial windfall, my kid. God promises that tomorrow, my beloved child, you will get a bountiful gift that will alleviate all your hardships. Like the soft morning sunbeams, this present has the potential to shine a light into every part of your life. At first, it could be surprising and even disregarded, but its effects might be substantial and last for a long time. You have endured much, and many times during it, you have felt helpless and lonely. But know that you have my unwavering support and that I'm never really alone. This blessing will not only help you overcome your current problems, but it will also provide you with the knowledge and strength to deal with any future obstacles that come your way. In the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of hope, and that is what it will serve to remind you of. You deserve serenity, and now is the time to get it. You've been strong and brave. You will no longer be able to anticipate how this favor will materialize. Something more substantial and enduring will come of it than quick cash or a silver bullet for all your troubles. It may be the arrival of the inner peace you've been seeking, if you're fortunate. Reading this article will change your perspective on your challenging situations, helping you to view them not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and learning. Reading this essay will not be a problem for you. Opportunities and paths that were previously invisible to your anxieties and concerns may now be staring you in the face. Plus, this blessing will reveal your inner talents and motives. Your ability to make a good difference in the world is boundless because you are a unique, invaluable creation. You are a stronger, more compassionate person because of the challenges you have overcome. They were not inconsequential. This blessing may give you the self-assurance and resolve you've been lacking. And it may also open your eyes to the fact that you can affect good change in your life and the lives of others around you. Your ability to connect with others on a deeper level will improve in tandem with your capacity for empathy and compassion. You provide solace and inspiration to others going through similar struggles when you lend a hand to those in need. Currently, this gift has the power to alleviate both mental and emotional suffering. Wisdom and forgiveness will gradually supersede your previous wounds and disappointments. Perhaps you will have the courage to let go of long-held grudges and wounds, liberating yourself from the constraints of your history. As your health improves, opportunities for romance and the things you love will present themselves to you. You are capable of developing deeper, more profound connections with the others around you. With this gift comes a burst of creativity for you as well. 
you could find a new ability or interest that offers you happiness and satisfaction, whether it's in the realm of art, music, writing, or something completely else. You are going to discover an outlet for your emotions. Along with all these internal changes, this creative journey has the potential to bring you boundless pleasure and help you grow as a person. This benefit may go unnoticed by you as you survey your surroundings. Kind people who are eager to lend you a hand are not hard to find. When possibilities present themselves, you will be led down exciting new paths. Even in the simplest of daily tasks, you will start to see indications of this benefit. Things like the sound of a newborn's laughter, the kindness of a stranger's smile, or the beauty of nature will elevate these things to a higher plane, making them more meaningful and enjoyable. This blessing will enhance your faith, which is its greatest value. When you understand how limitless and everlasting my love is for you, you will feel a closer bond with me. You may find comfort in thinking about me and praying about me because I am always with you. Having faith will give you the strength to face life's unknowns head on, knowing that you are never really alone. I am always watching over you, guiding you, and loving you. So, my little baby, be ready to receive this gift with an open heart. Trust that better days are coming and live in the present now. The deity of plenty wants to shower you with blessings, my precious baby, says God. The benefits will now go above and beyond what you could have imagined, meeting all of your demands and more. They'll come in many shapes and sizes, some physical and others abstract, but they'll all improve your life. A flood of love will first be here you. This love will originate inside you as well as from others around you. You'll have a profound feeling of self-love and beauty, understand your health and appreciate your niche. When you love yourself, you give yourself the ability to go for your goals and the strength to keep going even when things get tough. Furthermore, I shall bestow upon you the gift of physical fitness. You may feel a burst of energy and strength wash over you, and your mind and body may be revitalized as well. Being in good health will allow you to enjoy life to the fullest, take part in the activities you love, and discover new things with vigor and energy. You will also be rewarded with financial success. This doesn't necessarily mean affluent in the conventional sense, but it does imply a variety of lifestyles. You will find happiness in life's simple pleasures and your desires will come true. Rather than always wanting more, you will learn to be satisfied with what you have and grateful for it. Knowledge alone could be a benefit in and of itself. With the knowledge and experience you gain, you'll be able to make sound choices. This information will be derived from your coursework as well as the lessons I learned from both successes and setbacks. You may use it as a beacon to illuminate your path and make sense of the maze of lifestyle choices that lie ahead. Also, the gift of tranquility will be bestowed on you. Instead of just being the absence of war, this peace will be profound and long-lasting. It will ease your spirit and mind, allowing you to better handle the pressures and worries of everyday life when things go rough. In this tranquility, you may find a hideaway where you can relax in comfort and safety. The gift of joy will also be yours. The joy you're experiencing could rub off on others around you, making their days better too. Instead of being a passing feeling, it will become a stable state of contentment that endures through thick and thin. Friendship is the most precious gift someone could get. There will be people all around you who are there to cheer you on, love you, and support you. Your buddies may be there for you through thick and thin, offering support, wisdom, and company. Please, Lord, cure me, and I will reward you with the ability to think creatively. You will find new ways to articulate your thoughts and feelings, and you will develop skills you were unaware you had. Your ability to think creatively will no longer be limited to only artistic pursuits. Rather, it will permeate every aspect of your life allowing you to tackle challenges with fresh ideas and gain new insights into your field. You will also get the gift of courage. With this kind of courage, you'll be able to face your anxieties, leave your comfort zone, and seize new possibilities. 
an additional benefit, such as the gift of endurance, will be bestowed on you. You'll learn to seize the moment and realize that good things come to those who patiently wait, with the knowledge that every endeavor is temporary and that better days are coming you will be able to bear bad times with this perseverance. Additionally, you will learn to empathize with others so that you can connect with them on a more profound level and comprehend their feelings and points of view. Your character will be enhanced as a result. Additionally, the gift of desire will be bestowed on a compassionate character, someone who spreads kindness and love into the lives of others. Despite how bad things may seem, there is always a reason to keep going, and this hope might serve as a light in the gloom. It will give you the energy to keep going when things get tough, so you can achieve all your goals. You will also get innumerable little benefits on a daily basis, on top of these gifts. These may be as simple as a beautiful sunset, a stranger's smile, or a brief burst of laughter. When shared with a loved one, these simple pleasures serve as poignant reminders of the wonders of life and the abundance for which we should be grateful. Thus, my pricey kid, be prepared to accept these gifts with an open mind. Know that I love and care for you and that I will never leave your side. Let the richness of gifts permeate your lifestyle as you embody desires and thankfulness each day. My dear little one, God promises that your health will improve and your wealth will grow. New possibilities and previously closed doors will be opened as a result of these developments. On your path to better fitness, you will now focus not just on physical health, but also on mental and emotional strength. Every day, you will begin to experience a surge of energy and vitality. Maybe you'll feel revitalized and ready to take on the day when you open your eyes. You will be able to take part in the sports you love thanks to your improved fitness. Taking a leisurely stroll in the park, taking in the scenery, and relaxing will bring you much satisfaction. Your confidence will soar, and you'll find yourself drawn to hitherto unexplored interests. Consider planting some seeds, incorporate physical exercise with the exploration of new hobbies, or even participation in a dance spectacular. Even your eating habits might change. You'll find that you have a preference for foods that provide your body with nutrients and energy. As your body receives the nutrients it needs, vibrant fruits, leafy greens, and whole grains become mainstays in your diet. You could feel more at ease and see an improvement in your mood. It is also possible that your mental health may improve. You will learn to recognize your own emotions and thoughts more clearly and examine methods for managing stress and anxiety, such as meditation. Practicing mindfulness and deep breathing exercises regularly will become second nature to you. Now that you've mastered these techniques, you'll feel more at ease and be able to express yourself clearly. Your mental and emotional well-being will also improve. By opening up about your feelings and the challenges you're facing, you'll learn to connect with others on a deeper level and find methods to express yourself more freely. There will be those who understand. As your health and wealth improve, the affection and support of family and friends may be a constant source of solace and strength. This development may occur in a variety of ways. For example, you might be introduced to an entirely new career opportunity that perfectly matches your interests, skills, and values. In addition to a steady paycheck, this work will provide you with a sense of purpose and accomplishment. Please God, if you are in agreement, you could also find out how to better control your spending. To make educated choices, educate yourself about budgeting, saving and investing. In addition to fostering an attitude of plenty, this knowledge will equip you to build wealth and ensure a secure financial future through income. You'll develop an attitude of thankfulness as you start to see the many advantages of your way of life. More wealth and success will be drawn to you by this optimistic view. Other people will be able to benefit from your advanced pricing range as well. Helping out a friend in need, contributing to a local network initiative, or giving to a favorite charity are all possibilities. You are going to be absolutely elated by these selfless deeds. Your quality of life will improve in tandem with your fitness and financial situation. As a result, 
you will be able to travel and see the world. Vacations will now also serve as opportunities for introspection on such journeys. You'll broaden your knowledge of the field, meet interesting people, and learn about other cultures. Quicker financial stability may also cause changes in your household environment. You have the power to design a home that is uniquely yours, full of comfort and tranquility. Your environment, whether you're moving to a new house, remodeling, or renovating, will have an impact on how you feel as you enter a new chapter of your life. You could also find time for self-improvement. You may brush up on your knowledge and abilities by returning to high school, going to seminars, or reading up on the subject. This never-ending pursuit of information will keep your mind active and provide you access to even more opportunities for advancement. Your attractiveness to others will increase in proportion to your financial and physical success. Your upbeat demeanor and optimistic view of life could attract others. You may be able to help those who are going through tough times by taking on the role of mentor. Your spiritual life could even take a turn for the better if you share what you've learned from your studies with others. You will sense a deeper connection with a higher power and understand that these benefits are orchestrated by a higher power. Your decisions and actions will be guided by a sense of purpose and direction brought about by this spiritual development. There will be obstacles to overcome, but you will be better off physically and financially, so you will be able to persevere through them. You'll approach problems in a calm and pleasant manner, find solutions, and learn from each encounter. True prosperity and health, you may come to realize, are about more than simply material goods and the lack of disease. They may be about settling into a life that is rich with love, joy and meaning. Whether it's a peaceful night in, a social gathering, or a solo hike in the woods, you're going to feel every moment. So, my precious little one, be ready for this change, embrace the changes that may be on the horizon, and believe that they are guiding you to a better, more joyful future. My darling, you must realize that the proclamation of God guarantees His love and protection for you. No negativity or violence can ever defeat you, I declare today. That is a really comforting promise of divine intervention and direction for us. These words are full of life and comfort, since they assure us that we are safe from danger, even while we're struggling. Life is a constant roller coaster, and along the way, we encounter many obstacles and constraints. There is a lot of paperwork involved with these obstacles, which might range from personal failures to external difficulties that seem impossible to overcome. Nevertheless, the proclamation from God acts as a constant reminder that we are never alone. Encircled by His protective embrace, we are shielded from injury and negativity. Various forms of damage are possible. Physical harm, mental anguish, or tarnished reputations are all forms it might take. Worrying about danger's approach is much too much to handle in a globalized world full of uncertainties, injuries, and unexpected events. But we are protected from these concerns via God's promise, which tells us that His loving care will keep us safe. Similarly, negativity might be all-encompassing and detrimental, creeping into our lives via bad ideas. From time to time, we might be influenced by the negative attitudes and repercussions of other people's bad electricity, which can cause us to question ourselves. Despair and despair exist, but God's proclamation gives us hope that nothing can defeat us. The divine presence resides inside us, providing us with optimism, strength and resilience, especially in a world where news reports of injustice, wars and difficulties abound. With God's declaration, we are reminded to focus on the goodness inside ourselves and others around us. For no matter how dark things become, His love and charisma will ultimately win over. The announcement further stresses the significance of the present moment by reminding us that God's guidance and protection are not limited to some distant future or a certain instant in time, but are accessible to us right now. As His beloved offspring, we may take solace in the knowledge that we are under His divine protection and that nothing can harm us. 
His love and concern for us are unending and selfless. Because God loves us so much, He publicly proclaims that harm and negativity cannot have an effect on us. In spite of life's difficulties, His commitment to our safety and well-being remains unwavering. Cultivating trust and believing in God's plan will allow us to fully accept God's proclamation, relying on God's plan and having faith in His might. It is wise to put our trust in Him and let Him guide us since He knows what is best for us and we can rest certain that He will protect us no matter what challenges we face. Another possibility is that we wonder why it's necessary to either welcome favorable challenges or relish negative ones. Keep in mind that there may be times of boom and conflict in God's plan for us as well. Even if they are difficult to hear, such tales may help us gain greater power in the end. God's promise of knowledge and resilience also exhorts us to hold on to a positive and optimistic outlook. It serves as a compelling reminder that our ideas and thoughts shape our lives. We may overcome challenges with poise and courage when we cultivate an optimistic outlook and be vigilant for His well-being. It is important to remember that while God's promise protects us, it does not absolve us from the truths of life. Even if we continue to face difficulties, we may use our faith and strength to overcome them because of His guidance. His presence is a light that guides us through the darkest times, and God's Word compels us to think about our actions and choices. It urges us to conform our lives to His teachings and principles, which cultivates a feeling of virtue and righteousness. There will be a more beautiful and peaceful world brought about by our living in harmony with His will. We may spread the good news of God's declaration via the conversations we have with other people. In sharing love, we can lend a helping hand to those who are down and out and we certainly become vessels of God's grace in the lives of those around us. God's statement also reminds us of the importance of being thankful. Being grateful is like being under a tremendous magnet. It may change our perspective and bring joy into our lives. We invite even more blessings and riches to come our way, even while we are aware of God's protection and benefits. This proclamation from God, my precious child, I say to you today, that no harm can come to you, is an expression of His immense love, protection, and hope for His children. It gives us assurance that we are safe from harm because of His divine presence. Faith, a good attitude, and living in harmony with His teachings are all called for in this proclamation. Knowing that we are under His constant protection and that His love will ultimately triumph may provide us comfort and courage as we face the difficulties of life. A deep sense of security and opulence is sent by God's message, my little baby, that you are under my heavenly protection, protected from harm. These verses promise us safety and security in a world full of unknowns and threats, since we are loved children of God and are embraced in His protective embrace. Finding comfort and security in the idea of supernatural safety is possible. It serves as a gentle reminder that we are not traversing this life journey alone and that a higher power may be keeping an eye on us and leading us away from danger. By referring to us as my precious children, the expression highlights the unique relationship between God and every individual. Like a doting parent looking for their beloved child, this charming expression highlights the close relationship we have with the divine. It shows how much God cares about us and how much love there is. Many faiths and philosophical systems believe in a higher power's protection. It shows that God's kindness and power are greater in shielding us from harm, whether it is physical, mental, or spiritual. It is an idea that goes beyond what we can understand as humans and puts our faith in the wisdom and kindness of a higher power. Safeguarded from danger means more than just being physically protected. It also means being protected from mental, spiritual, and emotional dangers. It encompasses a wide range of potential threats, from physical harm to mental illness and spiritual challenges. Among the most essential aspects of divine protection is the idea that God is keeping a watchful eye on us. His presence is not inert, 
but rather a constant wellspring of wisdom and protection. Knowing that we are not alone may provide us with courage when we face danger or struggle. Having faith in God's plan for our lives, even when it seems uncertain or grim, is essential to the idea of divine safety, which is strongly related to religion. Because God's protection is constant, it begs us to let go of our worries and concerns. Protection from on high does not absolve us of the difficulties of life or make us immune to difficulty. Rather, it gives us confidence that God is with us through thick and thin, giving us strength to persevere. As we journey through life's complexity, we may also face storms, but we are certain that with His support, we will prevail. We are encouraged to have an optimistic perspective by the divine. This goes to show how much of an influence our thoughts and values have on the evaluations we write. Feeling safe and secure within is a byproduct of keeping in mind that we are protected from harm. Gratitude is an invitation from the divine that we may be secure. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that has the power to change our outlook and enrich our lives. By recognizing God's protection and benefits, we pave the way for even more richness and kindness in our relationships with others. Belief in God's protection may make us more empathetic and compassionate people. It can also make us more likely to aid the downtrodden since we know that we are all grace recipients. As a manifestation of His love, acts of charity and giving spring out. The importance of living in harmony with God's will and aligning our lives with His teachings and values is further highlighted by divine protection. We can help bring about a more peaceful and virtuous global community by encouraging a sense of rightness and goodness in one another. To be guarded against danger implies that the security bestowed by God is not haphazard, but rather grounded in His boundless understanding. His guidance may also save us from making decisions or taking actions that are harmful to our health. In times of trouble, it serves as a reminder that God's love encompasses more than just our hopes and desires. It also includes what is really good for us. Praying and meditating are ways to feel protected according to God. As we seek direction and strength in these activities, we connect with the divine. We discover a place for reflection and a means of strengthening our faith. You are under my almighty care, my little kid. A deep feeling of contentment and agreement comes along with being protected from harm. As children beloved by God, we are embraced in His tender care and protected from danger, both material and immaterial. As we go through life's challenging challenges, this message encourages us to include religion, develop a great mentality, and live in accordance with His teachings. That His love and protection are ever-present will give us strength and comfort, and we will never be alone. Listen to God's word, my little kid. Love, tranquility, and miraculous outcomes are on their way to you. This is really moving news that makes us happy and gives us hope. These words convey the limitless tenderness and enchantment of a higher power, assuring us now not only His love, but also the things of tranquility and the wonders of miracles in our lives. The touching greeting, My darling infant, which opens the word, highlights the intimate bond we have with God. It is a sign of courtship, like a kind parent offering their children blessings and best wishes. It demonstrates how much God cares for and loves every person. A reminder of God's infinite and everlasting love is the abundance of love I'm sending your way. Love has no bounds. It may find us no matter where or when we are. In both happy and sad times, this heavenly love brings comfort, certainty, and peace. Love is a powerful, life-altering energy that can bring people together, elevate them, and heal them. God's love is like a beacon that shows us the way, reassuring us that we are loved and appreciated no matter what. It is a love that embraces us without condition, pardons our transgressions, and gives us the strength to grow and succeed. Love is infinitely more powerful when it embraces us imperfectly, forgives our transgressions, and offers us the strength to grow and succeed. Similarly, the message goes on to embody the current moment of calm, a place of harmony and serenity 
that many people miss out on due to the constant chaos of daily life. It's the deep inner serenity that allows us to face obstacles with poise, regardless of external circumstances. We may take comfort in God's presence, even when life storms threaten to overwhelm us, since He has promised us peace. In Him, there is a haven of tranquility. In the depths of our souls, we might find refuge from the worries and stresses of the arena. There is a calmness there that is beyond human understanding, and it brings comfort even in the midst of chaos. In many faiths, the concept of peace is fundamental. It denotes not only the end of hostilities, but also the harmony and health of many faiths. The gift of peace from God encourages us to let go of our worries and anxieties and put our faith in God's perfect will for our lives. Among the most captivating aspects of this message are the miracles that accompany it. Great events that transcend explanation by human reason are called miracles, and they are often thought to have been orchestrated by a higher power. They bring us to a state of profound amazement and curiosity about the universe's boundless potential. God's promise of miracles gives us hope that the extraordinary is within our reach and inspires us to seize the wonderful chances that life presents. His omnipotence and His readiness to manifest His love and charisma in magnificent ways are shown by miracles. From physical recovery to serendipitous events, miracles may take many forms. Even in the darkest of times, miraculous things may happen. They serve as a reminder that the universe is structured according to a divine plan. It takes faith and a receptive heart to believe in miracles. It beckons us to be filled with wonder and amazement, to see the world through new eyes, and to recognize the divine's hand in our lives. When we are down and out, the hope of miracles gives us strength to keep going and believe in the good things that will happen to us. This is because we know that even in our worst hours, the light of God's intervention can shine through. Praying, believing, and having faith may work miracles. This heartfelt message is here to inspire and uplift you with its abundance of love, tranquility, and miraculous events. As we go through life, it serves as a constant reminder that we are never really alone. No matter where we are, the love of God is always there to comfort and support us. In the middle of all the mayhem, His tranquility creates a haven for us. As we consent, by His grace, to include this message in its entirety, His miracles serve as a reminder of the great potential that awaits us. Gratitude and mindfulness must be brought into the home. When we are thankful, we make room in our hearts for God's love and benefits. It lets us appreciate life's wonders, even in their most mundane aspects. In contrast, practicing mindfulness keeps us anchored in the here and now the place where miracles, love, and serenity abound. The divine presence in both the ordinary and the extraordinary aspects of our relationships with people may be grasped when we are generous and totally involved in our lives. Spreading love, selling peace, and being receptive to life-changing miracles are all themes that run through this message. Properly speaking, helping others and showing compassion come from a place of wanting to share God's love and style with those around us. His incredible love, His current state of inner calm, and the wonder of miracles in our lives are all affirmed in the abundance of love, serenity, and miracles that He is sending your way. We are loved and supported on this journey called life, and it serves as a reminder of that. When we surrender to His calm and love, we make room in our hearts for the potential of encounters with miracles that baffle logic but leave us feeling grateful and amazed. Knowing that we are the objects of God's heavenly love and grace, this message encourages us to greet each day with hope, trust, and awe. According to God, my beloved child, I have pondered something for you in this video, and in the next month, you will see improvements in your financial situation, health, relationships, and business life. If you think about God's plan, you'll see that I am watching over you as a father watches over his children. Whether you need a present, care, or love, I am here for you every step of the way. From the moment you awaken until you fall asleep, 
I am by your side, directing and supporting you, no matter what happens, every step you take, every decision you make. In your times of triumph, know that you have my full support. You may feel my presence as I share in your joy. As you achieve your objectives, I share in your joy as you snicker. At every gathering, you make me proud. Despite the uncertainty and conflict, my love for you grows stronger. If you ever feel lonely, I will be here for you. Whenever you feel scared, I will be here for you. At some point throughout your struggles, I was here to shield you. Even when you can't see me, I am still your strength. You must know that I am supporting you and giving you the strength to overcome every obstacle that crosses your path. Difficult circumstances will arise as you navigate life. The point of these difficult circumstances is not to weaken you, but to strengthen you. Like a parent teaching their kid how to ride a bike, there are opportunities for growth and getting to know one another. I will catch you when you fall and motivate you to get back up when you fall. Your relationships are well monitored by me. I point you in the direction of those who will enrich your life and assist you in developing. In addition, I provide you with the knowledge and wisdom to handle challenging relationships. Think of everyone you encounter as a piece of your journey, a piece of the jigsaw that is your life. If you ever find yourself at a crossroads and don't know which way to turn, I will be here for you. I am available to assist you. You have access to my knowledge at all times. I will show you the way, just as a parent shows their kid the way. Take my advice into consideration and you could find your way. My number one priority is making sure you are well and happy. I care for you in the same way a parent tends to his children's material needs. I want to imagine you healthy, strong and brimming with life. In good health and in bad, I am here to comfort and restore you in your time of need. When you're hurting, I'll be here to hold you close as a father holds his child. You are really dear to my heart. We no longer cross omit your tears. My presence is here to remove them and provide you with solace and calm. I empathize with the times when you need to be alone. Amidst the quiet, I am there, communicating with your beating heart. Like you, I hold those times in the highest regard. As you develop and communicate, there are moments of closeness and intimacy when you can sense my presence virtually and hear my voice. I am there, keeping an eye on your growth as a parent watches their child become an independent young adult. With contentment, I see your growth. No matter what, I will be by your side while you discover your true identity and your place in the world. If you are in need of immediate access to large sums of money, look no further than the link in the comment section below to learn the astonishing riches secrets and procedures divulged by an errant NASA scientist. Thanks to your talent and imagination, I am entertained. I am proud of you in the same way that a parent feels proud of his child's specific abilities. No matter what your profession is, artist, teacher, caretaker, etc. I appreciate seeing how you put your gifts to use. What I see in my picture of you is a reflection of your skills. It costs a lot for you to live a non-secular lifestyle, in the same way that a parent tends to his children's spiritual and ethical development, I tend to yours. I'm available to listen to your worship, prayers, and times of spiritual reflection. At moments like this, our hearts become one, like a happy father who watches his children demonstrate compassion and love. I am there in your acts of generosity and provision. When you help other people, do I feel proud of you? That's my love for you on show in the arena, your selflessness reflects the love I have for you. Like a parent watching their sleeping child, I keep an eye on you as you sleep. As a source of safety and tranquility, I keep an eye on you. You may be certain that your wants will be met since my presence is constant. Listen in as I tell you what I have in store for you. I'm right there. Just as a parent listens to his children's problems, I am here for you when you question and consider. When you need answers, or comfort in your quest for truth. I am here for you. As you go through life, you will find me. You must know that my affection for you is constant.
like a father's love for his children, my love for you will never waver. Sometimes, it has nothing to do with your actions or the way you phrase it. God is always watching over you, my little baby, and he loves and protects you throughout your whole existence. You may be sure that I am closely monitoring every breath you take. Like the sun that rises without fail every morning, my love for you is continuous, unfading, and ever gifting. When you let love into your life, it will illuminate every aspect of it. Your daily awakening is a sign that God is with you. Just know that I am right here with you while you get ready for the day ahead. I am keeping tabs on you and directing your actions. Remember that I am with you every step of the way while you face anxiety or doubt. As you go about your day, know that you are never really alone because I am right there with you. With you, I may safely pursue any pastime, no matter how big or small. Making sure you're safe is my job. In times of danger or uncertainty, my hand is always guiding and protecting you, even if you can't always see it. Your protector and defender, I am you. Keep in mind that my strength is being bestowed on you while you confront difficulties. Like a kind father who urges their child to tackle the challenge again after a fall, you possess the bravery and fortitude to overcome any difficulty. When you need encouragement or help navigating social situations, I'm here for you. You are a reflection of my affection. You have the power to embody my empathy and kindness through what you say and do. By loving other people, you are giving them a piece of yourself. In addition to involving you and them, I am also involved in your interactions during times of decision-making and desire fulfillment. You have access to my expertise in order to assist you in making choices that meet your expectations. I provide clarity and insight. I am here to guide and enlighten you, just as a father would a child. If you take my word for it, a birthday bash and moments of enjoyment will lead you in the correct direction. Like a father who takes pleasure in their child's accomplishments, I share in your joy because your happiness makes me happy. Your satisfaction and happiness are my delight. We celebrate every milestone and victory together. Keep in mind that I am the one who can alleviate your feelings of loneliness and isolation. As a reliable friend, I am always there to listen, know, and care about you. In your times of need, you can always come to me, and I will be here to provide you comfort and solace as you embark on your journey of self-discovery. You might think of me as a gardener who tends to cherish a plant, there to help you flourish and develop your skills. I want you to succeed and develop to your maximum potential. Therefore, I provide you with the resources you need. I am keeping an eye on you while you sleep. You're making sure you can unwind in tranquility like a vigilant watcher. You have my undivided attention all night long. Knowing that you are secure in my care, you may rest easy. I am here to give you trust and certainty when you are doubting and questioning. As you experience the highs and lows of life together, I offer you a path and pray that your inquiries do not terrify me, but rather bring us closer to understanding my character and love. My love is unwavering, like a rock that refuses to budge no matter how strong the storm. No matter the season, my love for you is unwavering. No matter what, my love will always be there for you. In times of sorrow, I am here to ease your pain and mend your broken heart. Embrace it while you're sad. I will protect you and ease your suffering. In the depths of despair, my love may mend your broken heart and give you hope for your artistic pursuits and passions. I'm here to inspire you, just as a muse can. Please share your thoughts and recommendations with me. Your talents and skills are gifts from me, meant to be cherished and delved into as you seek wisdom and understanding. You may rely on me to provide light and impart knowledge. I love you, God, just like a teacher loves a student. I will impart knowledge and wisdom to you. We embark on this journey of yours together, your quest for mastery. Your acts of service and generosity are like ripples in a pond. They bring my love into the world. Love and service from you have a multiplicative impact on the lives of others around you. As you mature and think about your life, you are taking my lead 
and bringing a kind touch to the arena. Like a captivated storyteller who spins a magnificent tale, you may see my hand in every chapter. I wrote the script for your life story. The complex fabric of your life is woven from every contact and experience. Whenever we are together in spiritual devotion, you will sense my presence as a mighty energy that permeates the space. Whenever you bring me near you in these holy times of devotion, my presence is most noticeable. You find serenity and a profound feeling of belonging in that intimacy. Discovering the world's numerous marvels lifts your soul and fills your coronary heart with an immense joy that is beyond worldly comprehension. You must realize that I am exhibiting the splendor of my advent to you in the same way an artist unveils a masterpiece. In order to delight in the mountains, I reveal the wonders of nature. The heavens and oceans proclaim my majesty and ingenuity. I am here to help you through times of change and commerce, just as a compass that points north shows you the way when you don't know where to go. Trade is a gateway to prosperity, and I will be by your side through all the ups and downs of your life's journey. I am here to encourage you to help those in need whenever you come across them. I pique your interest in lending a hand to people in need. Both you and the people you help benefit from your selfless deeds. You may listen to my voice more intently, like a soft whisper in the silence, during times of meditation and calm. I address your emotions. When you overcome your concerns and experience moments of reflected image, they are priceless because they improve your knowledge of my will and strengthen your connection to me. You are brave because you acknowledge that I am the source of your courage. My face may help you face your anxieties with confidence. As you share your faith and have fun with people, you become more powerful than you realize. You are illuminating a dark planet with my message of love and desire. In times of success and happiness, you show my character and interest to others around you, and your words and deeds serve as a guide for others. Remember to maintain a spirit of gratitude and modesty, like a tree that remains firmly planted, no matter how tall it grows. Always remember your advantages. You are, and all you own are gifts from me, so please utilize them well. When we're having fun, I'll be right there with you, laughing and enjoying ourselves just as a parent does when their child is happy. I am very satisfied by your excitement. As you go through life, remember that laughter and pleasure may mend your spirit and brighten your heart. You may be certain that my love for you is as solid as a bond, unbreakable and unfaltering. Through thick and thin, my love for you remains unwavering. I am here to be your constant companion. When you thank others for their blessings, you're like an empty vessel ready to be filled with more good things. My wealth finds a grateful coronary heart. When you make thankfulness a daily habit, you'll discover that life is more abundant in those times when you can let your imagination run wild. I am here to serve as an endless wellspring of ideas, igniting your imagination. My ideas and dreams are at your disposal. As a mirror of my own creative nature, your creativity is a gift that ought to be cherished and shared. Like a student learning from an experienced instructor, my coronary heart is being drawn toward you as you gain knowledge and insight. As you continue to read, you will learn more about my background and approach. Every time your heart beats, I am right there with you. The oxygen you breathe and the beat of your heart are both symbols of how much I adore you. In my eyes, you are priceless and you are loved beyond measure. You are my beloved newborn. I pray that you know how much love and protection surround you at all times, my little child, and that you may walk confidently in that knowledge. No matter what comes our way, you can always count on my love, guidance, and protective father heart to be by your side. Emphasizing the enduring, powerful, and life-altering power of God's love and protection, this story upholds the concept of God's fatherly care and omnipresence in many aspects of existence. A message from God is both strong and reassuring. The words, my expensive child, and you're on the right path to becoming rich, successful, happier and healthier, keep popping into our heads. It serves as a gentle reminder of the heavenly assistance and direction 
that may help us achieve a life of plenty and happiness. Amidst the chaos of daily life, it's easy to let our aspirations and goals slip our minds. We often find ourselves mired in the endless quest for success and money, as if they were the magic formulas for a fulfilled life. Nevertheless, the word from God serves as a reminder that there could be another plan in motion, one that includes not only material prosperity and happiness, but also our physical and mental health and serenity. Affluence is a universally desired objective, and it's quite normal to want to be financially secure and comfortable. Having a lot of stuff isn't everything. True riches also come from having meaningful connections with other people. Success is an admirable goal because of the meaning it brings to our lives and the impact our stories have on others. We are committed to reaching our objectives, doing our best and standing out on a worldwide scale. Satisfaction, however, may be a double-edged sword if it compromises our health and contentment. A joy. God's word guarantees that we may achieve prosperity without compromising our health. Achieving happiness, which may be challenging in our fast-paced lives, is a basic human decision. There are a lot of ways we're trying to find it, including following our dreams and making genuine relationships. Rather than relying only on external factors, the foundation of our pleasure is in our religion and inner serenity, as God's Word teaches us. Wealth and success are meaningless without physical fitness, which is why it is perhaps the most precious gift of all. The Word from God tells us to put our health first and to choose choices that are good for our brains and bodies. It serves as a reminder that leading a balanced life in terms of our physical and mental health is essential for finding fulfillment. God, I need your healing. It is essential to remember that God's direction is our map as we set out on our path to become rich, hitchhiking, happier and healthier. His wisdom and love give us the strength to overcome obstacles and the modesty to recognize our own worth. Each of us has a purpose in life since we are his beloved children. Building riches isn't a picnic, Getting there usually requires grit and determination. Furthermore, economic literacy is necessary. Assets wisely invested and a dedication to prudent financial management. Careful stewardship, putting our resources to good use for the benefit of ourselves and others, is emphasized in God's message. Achieving one's goals requires focus and determination, and it involves having well-defined aspirations. The teachings of God and perseverance in the face of adversity, serve as a sobering reminder that internal growth and the cultivation of good manners are the true measures of success rather than external recognition. Being grateful, practicing mindfulness, and maintaining an optimistic view of life can all lead to a more joyful state of being. Finding joy in the little things, appreciating the beauty of our surroundings, and cultivating an attitude of thankfulness are all parts of God's message. Physical fitness is a gift that deserves our utmost respect and protection. It calls for a well-rounded lifestyle that incorporates regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate rest. Our bodies are temples that house our souls on this path to becoming rich, famous, happier, and healthier. And God's message reminds us to prioritize self-care and seek clinical assistance when needed. Always remember to be thankful and humble. Our successes are not solely due to our own efforts. We must also acknowledge that higher forces are responsible for them. God's message is a gentle reminder to recognize His role in our journey and to show our appreciation by being generous and kind. You can reflect on your day with contentment and serenity as you drift off to sleep. Your freedom to be yourself, the success that has come from your hard work, and the abundance that has improved your lives are all things for which you are truly thankful. You can finally unwind, your heart full of hope for the future and the adventures that lie ahead in this next chapter of your life. You do that with joy and expectation as you move forward, ready to absorb all that this new section has to offer. You move forward with optimism and confidence, knowing that God will lead you into a future of plenty, prosperity, and liberty, a future where each day 
is a chance to experience God's blessings to the utmost. My beloved, get ready for an abundance of blessings that will astound you. That is the encouraging word from God. As you ponder this divine promise, it foretells a time of extraordinary plenty and delight, painting a picture of a future brimming with unexpected and magnificent blessings. As the first rays of morning light stream in through your window, may you put your faith in a path that leads you, step by step, to behold those extraordinary displays of grace and favor. You start your day off right by reflecting on God's words, and the thought of an abundance of blessings brings you joy and anticipation. You are prepared to incorporate an element that evokes appreciation and wonder into your everyday routine, and you welcome the possibilities that await you. Whether you're working from home or engaging in your hobbies, you bring this sense of anticipation with you. You're noticing benefits all around you. You begin to appreciate life for the little things it has to offer. Things like a kind word from a co-worker, a breathtaking sunset, or a brief respite in the middle of a busy day are all part of the overflow. A spirit of hopeful anticipation is what God has promised you in your relationships with other people. Your optimistic and supportive speech mirrors the abundance mindset you've embraced. Your positive attitude becomes infectious, lifting the spirits of those around you at work or school. With a fresh sense of purpose and determination, you take on your responsibilities, knowing that your hard work will be rewarded in ways you cannot yet imagine. You approach challenges with determination and perseverance because you know that these qualities increase the likelihood that positive outcomes will occur. As you get ready for this flood of advantages, your religious lifestyle becomes more important. In an effort to bring your mind and heart into harmony with God's will, you engage more passionately in religious activities like prayer, meditation, and studying sacred texts. Your faith and feeling of oneness with God are fortified in this sacred space. The various forms of bureaucracy that God has promised to use will become clear to you as time goes on. Any event that fills you with wonder and strengthens your perception of the power of God's benefits, a sudden resolution to a long-standing problem, an unexpected possibility, or even a shocking turn of events, can be described as miraculous. In times of uncertainty, or when things don't appear to be going your way, you hold fast to God's promise, reminding yourself that advantages can manifest in unforeseen ways and that difficult times often precede truly revolutionary breakthroughs helps. Along the way, we may encounter challenging situations and set limits. There are opportunities for growth and research in those areas. Having faith in God's plan is encouraged in His message. It is critical to uphold our principles and honesty even when things get tough so that we can be sure we are following the right path to success and happiness. True wealth is not built on exploitation or dishonesty, but on justice, compassion, and equity, as God's message teaches us. Achieving your goals of becoming famous, wealthy, content, and healthy is no picnic and demands grit and determination. There is no such thing as a one-day goal. Rather, it is an endeavor that will last a lifetime. According to his message, Following God's will and remaining faithful to our principles will lead us to eternal salvation. The first kind wants this so that you can hear the word of God. You are well on your way to becoming wealthy, famous, content and healthy, my dear child. Each and every one of us can draw wisdom and encouragement from this. Life is about more than just accumulating wealth. It's also about feeling good on the inside and living a fulfilling life. May our hearts be filled with faith, our souls with gratitude, and our hearts with love as we move forward in this direction, fully aware that God's love and awareness are with us at all times. My precious child, I can conquer anything if you are by my side, God declares. Always keep in mind that I am by your side whenever you encounter challenging circumstances and feel overwhelmed. When we are united, we can overcome any challenge and achieve greatness. You find the fortitude to face life's challenges head on because of your faith in me. Look to me for direction every time you feel confused or unsure. 
my love and knowledge for you know no bounds, and I will always be by your side. By relying on my presence, you can gracefully and resiliently overcome the most challenging times. Nothing is impossible when I'm by your side. I am the gentle wind that guides you in the dark, the refuge from your tempest. In the midst of your confusion or loneliness, take comfort in the fact that I am holding your hand. When you're feeling scared or sad, my love acts as a protective force, keeping you safe. You may discover the strength to face any challenge in me. Baby, keep in mind that there are many lessons and chances for development along the path of a lifestyle. You can strengthen your faith and identity with every obstacle you face. You can count on my unwavering support and encouragement as you move forward. No matter what challenges you face, know that you are never truly alone as you journey through life's valleys and summit the greatest mountains. When you're happy or sad, you can count on me to be by your side. Feel free to rate my reviews if you like. My love is an ever-present part of your life, a light that will never go out as long as I am in it. Your faith and determination will be on display in the face of every difficulty. My voice, offering wisdom and comfort, can be found within the stillness of your heart. In times of fear, I am the voice that whispers courage, and in times of falter, I am the hand that steadies you. When we are together, my presence is like a stronghold, protecting your soul from the tempests of life. We can do anything. I have bestowed upon you the gift of inner strength, a wonderful resilience that you can tap into during challenging times through a love that knows no bounds. Always remember that your faith in me deepens and your spirit becomes stronger with each challenging endeavor you conquer. My precious little one, you have the potential to find the strength to overcome any obstacle and come out stronger and more determined than before. Know that I am always keeping an eye on you, rejoicing in your successes and consoling you in your sorrows. An infinite wellspring of vitality and splendor, my love for you propels you forward on your path. You can face the future with confidence by utilizing your abilities, knowing that we will overcome anything that stands in our way. God assures his beloved child that he is always there to protect and love them no matter what. Whether it's the crack of dawn or the twinkling of night, I am by your side, keeping watch over you. You are a constant in my life, and my love for you is as constant as the tides and the seasons. With every stride you make, I am directing you. As you go, I'll walk right by your side. During your downtime, I will be cheering you on as you run. You can find solace and tranquility in my presence. You seek shelter in times of uncertainty, and my protection envelops you. I am delighted to be in your company when you are laughing. When you're happy, I'm happy. When you experience joy, I join in the celebration. I treasure every moment of joy and every grin that crosses my face. As you triumph over adversity, your joy illuminates the sky and fills my heart with joy. I will be the one to help you stand tall when you are down. When you're not sure, I am here to help. I will give you the facts as you falter. I will bring you to my side. You can overcome obstacles. I'll be by your side every step of the way. In times of sorrow, I am here to offer solace. I want you to know that I am not the only one who feels sorry for you when you cry. You are in my arms. Whenever you need comfort or someone to help you through a difficult time, you can always count on me to be there. As you dream, know that you are not in this alone. I am available to motivate you. I care deeply about your aspirations. I am the one who lights a fire under your soul so that you can dream big and follow your heart. You have my support. My preference is for you to realize your full potential and lead a meaningful life in your relationships. I'm steering the beat of your heart. I bring individuals into your life on purpose. I have a purpose for every friendship and every interaction I have with you. I am here to help you control your language and behavior when you engage with other people. When you make a decision, you get the gift of love and kindness. You can count on me to provide details. When you are uncertain of anything, I am the one who can shed light on the situation. Dear 888, you have inquired about my steerage. 
If you are in agreement with the angels, my wisdom is always available to you. I can guide you in the right direction with your work and research. If you trust me, your concentration and clarity will be shown to me. May your efforts be abundantly rewarded. We have taken note of your perseverance and commitment. While you play and enjoy life, I will be there to open doors and generate possibilities for you. Joining in your joy, I am present. You should cherish the times you have fun, since life is a precious gift. You may feel my presence as I share in your joy and pride. In your times of meditation and prayer, I find joy in the little things in life. Your single word, whisper, and suggestion are reaching me, and I am paying close attention. At these private times, our souls become one. Your prayers are precious to me because they reveal the depths of your being. I will be by your side to lead the way as you grow and learn. From infancy to maturity, I oversee lifestyles. I am present for every change. No matter what the weather brings, my love and protection will be by your side. I will be there to show you the sector's delights while you explore it. Advent is most beautiful when celebrated with a view of the mountains, seas, and woods. My creations are on exhibit. I am proud to show you the stunning work I have done in the field of health and wellness. For your care, I am present. I am here to help you and ease your pain. My love is like a bomb for your hurt feelings and your hurt body. Recognize that I am always watching over your well-being while you assist others and agree with my healing power. I'm here to support and encourage you. Your selflessness reflects my own passion for helping others. You are assisting me. I am grateful for your readiness to lend a hand and supply what I need. Your kindness illuminates the world. Even when we're alone, I'll be here to keep you company. You're never really alone. In fact, you're generally there by my side. My voice echoes across the stillness. In the stillness, I speak to you, reassuring you and demonstrating my knowledge. Remember that I am by your side while you navigate the challenges of the future. You should not be afraid of the unknown since I am the one who has your fate in my hands. My intentions for you are filled with hopes and dreams and I assure you that you will give me serious thought. Indulging in success might make your journey more pleasant. I'm there to celebrate with you and bring back fond memories of the path that led you here. All of your hard work and my direction have paid off and your accomplishments are proof of that. My hand is involved in every triumph, no matter how big or small. Your triumph is a cause for celebration, and both of you should take pride in the time you spend reflecting on it. I am available to provide my perspective. As you reflect on your life, you will see my influence in every chapter. Every experience, good and bad, has woven its way into the complex fabric of your lives, adding to your own progress. I am here to shed light on your ideas as you seek knowledge and wisdom. I provide the knowledge that leads to clarity and honesty. I am the greatest tutor you could ask for if you are serious about expanding your knowledge. Most of the time, my directions are choppy. However, they often have great value during cheerful celebrations, such as birthdays. I am here to rejoice with you. Your joy is like a fragrant fragrance to me when you're happy. Whether it's a major event or just a regular day of delight, I take great pleasure in celebrating with you. I am the giver of every good and perfect gift, and it makes me happy when you use them to confront injustice or expose wrongdoing. I am here to provide you with bravery and the opportunity to see justice. I give you the power to make a decent and equitable decision. Stand up for what you believe in and know that you have my support. No matter the medium, the creative expressions of my man or woman in the struggle for justice shine through. My presence is meant to uplift you. As a means of communicating your deepest thoughts and emotions, I have bestowed upon you the gift of creation. I have bestowed on you a little of my own inventive spirit, your creativity as a gift. I'm here to offer you forgiveness and a fresh start whenever you mess up. My love for you has no bounds and my grace can meet every need you may have. In my view, there is always room for a second opportunity, no matter how big the error. 
I am here to guide you and bring you calm as you age, just like I did when you were a little girl. Under God's plan, I wholeheartedly agree. From youth until old age, my presence has been constant throughout your lives. In your times of victory, I am here to provide the wisdom that comes with celebrating and the serenity that comes from knowing you are loved. I am here to remind you to be thankful and modest. All good things originate with me. Don't forget that. Acknowledging and celebrating your successes is a great way to show appreciation for the support you've received. If you are feeling overwhelmed or battered, I am here to provide solace and relief. My load is light and my yoke is simple. If you are tired, come to me and I will make you feel better. You could find refuge from the tempests of life in me. In the midst of life's ordinary responsibilities and daily exercises, I am here to provide you with pleasure and inspiration. I am present at every moment, even the most mundane ones. As you include me in every part of your life, I can turn the mundane into the extraordinary. Because of your selflessness and generosity, I wish there was a way to magnify your influence. Your proportion and readiness to give are manifestations of my own generosity. You are giving to me even as you give to other people. You may show how much you care and love while you negotiate the complexity of life through your giving. I'm here to make things easy to understand and read. Life might be challenging, but with my help, it becomes easier. If you believe it to be real inside of me, I can follow your instructions immediately. As you take in the splendor of nature, I will show you what matters most. It is my purpose to bring back the awe-inspiring wonder of my arrival. The beauty of our planet is evidence of my imagination and my affection for you. Having the opportunity to appreciate your relationships is a gift, so take some time to enjoy the sector I have created. They can rely on me to lead and encourage them. I provide the care and understanding necessary for fulfilling relationships, whether they are with friends, love partners, or extended family. Running in and out of them, I will bring you joy and company as you face each new day. Remember that I am not far away. My affection and safeguarding are constants in your life. Maybe we can overcome any obstacle you encounter if we are together. My love and protection will never fade, and it is the best assurance you have in this life. May the wonders of your life, my darling, demonstrate the immense power of faith and the immense love I have for you. That is a very deep claim that makes us think about how religion and the limitless love of a higher power have shaped our lives. These verses serve as a gentle reminder that the miraculous occurrences in our lives are evidence of the love and presence of God, not random accidents. The lesson begins with a touching exchange with my precious kid, highlighting our close relationship with God. It symbolizes a bond similar to that of a caring parent or guardian aiding their beloved children in any way they can. It shows how much God loves each individual, just as a parent loves his own child. Our journeys through life are characterized by moments of surprise and awe. May the miracles that befall you make this fact known. Often linked to supernatural intervention, miracles are extraordinary occurrences that defy rational or natural explanations. The cosmos functions on a level beyond our knowledge, where the noteworthy may become commonplace. They serve as reminders of that. This discourse emphasizes the significance of miracles in our spiritual journey. These miraculous events are not limited to religious writings. They permeate all aspects of our lives, from the mundane to the extraordinary, and may manifest in a wide variety of ways, from physical healings to chance meetings and synchronicities that defy explanation. Many believe that miracles are physical proof of God's loveliness and grace, that they are His means of showing us how much He cares about us. As signs of His kindness and guidance during difficult times, miracles serve as beacons of desire. The next part of the term describes the faith-filled energy as being of high quality. Spirituality and non-secular perception cannot exist without religion, which stands for our faith and confidence in a higher force, despite the lack of empirical evidence. We are able to tap into the transformational force of the divine via our connections with religion, which serve as a bridge to the divine. 
Religion has a powerful impact on our stories and perceptions, which in turn influence our emotions, motivations and actions, leading us toward hope, perseverance and optimism. Because of our faith, we are able to triumph over obstacles and face hardship with grace and dignity. Having faith encompasses more than just religious or philosophical matters. It permeates every aspect of our existence. The will to keep going when things get tough and the ability to discover purpose and significance in our tales are both fueled by our ability to identify possibilities when they aren't there. Our religious beliefs motivate us to seek answers to the big questions of life. The messages focus on faith's electric charge suggests that our convictions and beliefs impact our facts in a real way. Belief in God's love and divine purpose makes us receptive to His favors and marvels. The power of religion is immense. It can change our perspective on life, teach us to see adversity as a chance for growth and wisdom, and teach us to be grateful and humble, realizing that the miracles we experience aren't just the product of our own efforts, but also of God's hand. The next line elaborates on the idea that the miracles are proof of God's immense love and the power of religion. It is possible that miracles are planned events that demonstrate how our faith and His love work in harmony. They are proof of the mutually beneficial relationship between our idea and His kindness. Signposts leading us toward a deeper connection to the divine. Miracles serve as visible and physical confirmation of the Divine's presence in our lives. Miracles show that faith is not an impersonal idea, but rather a dynamic force that has the ability to alter our reality and bring about change. A common description of God's love is that it is limitless and unconditional, going above and beyond what we can understand to comfort, assist, and reassure us when we are down. According to the message, such miraculous occurrences are proof of His love for us, His beloved children. Abounding in warmth and compassion, God's love envelops us without regard to our deeds or merit. It pours freely and abundantly. It's the kind of love that helps us overcome our weaknesses, mend our broken hearts, and find our way to spiritual prosperity. The divine love is all around us, and the message wants us to recognize it. In doing so, we make room in our hearts to receive even larger benefits. As we let His love shine through us, we spread it to others and create a wave of compassion and generosity that reaches all corners of the globe. Keeping God's great love at the center of our everyday lives may bring about significant change. As a result, we feel more connected to a greater whole and more appreciated for who we are. This understanding gives us the strength to face life's difficulties head-on and in our own unique way. In addition, the message reminds us to consider the opportunities that have presented themselves to us as miracles. The ways in which religion shapes our tales and the types of supernatural involvement might be better understood through these contemplations. They help us see how faith and love are interdependent on one another on our spiritual path. We become witnesses to the power of God's love when we teach others about our faith and the miracles we've seen. Motivate yourself and others around you to experience the life-altering power of religion. For those who are looking for non-secular ways to develop and interact, we become lights that guide the way. Furthermore, may the wonders of your life demonstrate the great power of faith and the immense love I have for you. This proves, without a shadow of a doubt, His infinite love the power of faith to change lives, and the relevance of miracles. The beautiful things that happen to us are proof of His love and presence, not random accidents, as this scripture tells us. Incorporating religion as a dynamic force that molds our reality and acknowledging God's love as an ever-present source of support and comfort are both included in the message. Being witnesses to the synergy between faith and love, we inspire hope and change in the lives of others as we duplicate and share our story. What I am telling you today comprises a profound invitation to embrace religion and consider the divine steering and knowledge supplied in the gift moment. This is God's message to you, my little baby. 
This passage encourages us to trust in God's wisdom and instruction by evoking the close bond between a parent and his children. The touching deal, my dear toddler, introduces the sentence and highlights our intimate relationship with God. It portrays a connection characterized by affection, thoughtfulness, and closeness, much like a caring person offering advice to those they care about. For our health and sanctification, it represents God's genuine topic. Think about what I'm saying. The value of the present moment is highlighted today, which suggests that we should pay attention to the guidance and signs that God is giving us. Additionally, the divine message is pertinent to our existing situation and what we seek. Essential to spirituality and religion is belief, which stands for giving thought to and having trust in a higher power, despite a lack of proof. In order to establish a connection with the divine and receive his wisdom and benefits, perception is fundamental to our relationship with God. Belief is a recognition of the existence of knowledge. It urges us to let go of our ambiguities and doubts and incorporate the lessons and insights given to us, going beyond our human understanding. The way we see things has a profound impact on our decisions, behaviors, and ultimately, our fate. God's message invites us to put our faith in His guidance and the information He is currently revealing to us. It reassures us that His words aren't random, but rather meant to guide us toward non-secular development by illuminating our path and providing solace. His wisdom is timeless and applicable, and this serves as a reminder of that. Trusting in God's word means you're ready to let Him lead you in the right direction. It encourages us to tune out the world and listen to the still small voice that resides inside, the one who talks to us most often via gut feelings, intuitive understanding, and divine inspiration. Belief in God's word provides strength and endurance. Perception is a surrender that brings our will into harmony with God's. It gives us the strength to face adversity head on and gives us a feeling of purpose, which shows out in our deeds when we think about the road ahead. Divine wisdom guides our perspective, which in turn reminds us that we are not traveling this holy path alone. The wisdom and counsel of God are always at our disposal, providing solace and direction in times of need. Our faith becomes a source of comfort and security. The here and now are real, and the word from God reflects His care and concern for His creation. If we put our faith in His guidance, we may take advantage of the opportunities that have been presented to us today. Because of this, we should be grateful for what we have and make the most of the opportunities for growth that present themselves to us right now. Trusting in God's word requires humility. Since we acknowledge that his knowledge and understanding are far greater than our own limited abilities, it gives us the confidence to let go of our egocentric desires and anxieties since his guidance is based on an in-depth understanding of our genuine purpose and belief in our abilities. And it also has the power to change the way we look at life. It stresses the importance of being appreciative and having an optimistic outlook on life, always looking for the silver lining. Hope, faith and love illuminate our worldview as we embrace God's message as truth. Giving voice to God's word, our perspective shines like a lamppost illuminating the path for those seeking spiritual wisdom and understanding. Our idea will serve as an example of how believing in God's message and accepting reality as it is inside the divine may change our lives. By encouraging mutual support and connecting with like-minded people, we may build a community of faith where we can help each other on our spiritual journeys. My precious little one, belief is a conduit through which we may all draw strength and inspiration. What I'm saying today is real, and it's a loving invitation to accept faith as true within the context of the present moment, guided and understood by the divine. It brings to mind our personal relationship with God and His genuine concern for our welfare. The foundation of our connection with the divine is notion, which shapes our thoughts, deeds, and destiny. It provides us with the strength to face life's challenges head-on and the comfort to lean on when we're not sure what the future holds. We may seize the chances that come our way, 
learn to be grateful, and be a light for others on their spiritual journeys if we believe in God's Word. Listen to this Word of God, my darling. It will bring about your heart's desire. They ring true with reassuring profundity and warmth. Such remarks emphasize how important it is to take in heavenly instruction and let it fill our hearts and minds with deep yearning and comfort. The touching, my precious toddler, opens the line, highlighting the intimate and loving bond we have with God. It signifies God's profound and unfaltering love for every individual, and it evokes an intimate feeling similar to a caring discern offering words of encouragement and luxury to those they appreciate. Permit these words to lodge in your heart. They invite us to remain open and receptive in our pursuit of heavenly knowledge and emphasize the significance of the information being conveyed. According to many faiths, one's emotions, inner knowledge, and spiritual insight all reside in one's heart. For these statements to really penetrate our hearts, we must engage in a profound and life-altering process of internalization. A heart that is open and receptive to divine words is like a coronary heart. It injects us with God's love and direction, strengthening us from the inside out and enabling us to face life's difficulties with grace and desire. A strong command is to provide hope. As a basic and transforming feeling, desire is what keeps us going when things become tough and unclear. It's quite far from the idea that better times are on the horizon, that tough times can be overcome, and that our path is not in vain. In God's message, it is urged that we let these words be a source of desire in our lives. What we really want isn't necessarily something trivial. Sometimes, it's a firm belief that comes from having faith and being in accord. It means you believe in God's plan and that His wisdom is greater than your own. Even when things seem hopeless, our desires may provide a light on the path ahead. The message tells us to internalize the words of God in order to foster desire. Considering the kindness and generosity of the divine design, when we let these statements settle into our hearts, is simply too much. As they mature, they become a wellspring of ideas and words of encouragement, showing us that we are not venturing onto this journey alone. In the darkness of despair and uncertainty, hope shines like a lighthouse. Because of this, we are better able to deal with the difficulties of our way of life. It opens our eyes to possibilities where other people might also see limitations. In trying times, our wishes will be the engine that propels us forward toward our goals. We find purpose and drive in our actions when we hold on to hope, which is a powerful motivator. Wanting something helps us keep going, even when the path ahead seems lengthy and uncertain, because we know that our efforts are leading to a better future. Hope, too, spreads like wildfire. As we take on the form of a desire and offer it to the world, we transform into conduits for inspiration and help. Those around us may find comfort and encouragement in our optimism, which can pull them up on their own journeys. It sets off a chain reaction of optimism and perseverance in our neighborhoods. The process of internalizing is significant, so let these words soak into your heart and give you hope. The divine message necessitates that we halt, reflect, and contemplate. We want these expressions to become ingrained in our mental environment, so it's not a surface level or passive system. One way to internalize knowledge is to make sure that our thoughts, feelings, and deeds are all in harmony with what is said. Adhering to their teachings requires a great deal of commitment. Practicing this technique may help you let go of pessimism, anxiety, and negative thinking and replace it with optimism and faith. As part of internalizing, we also strengthen our bond with God. It encourages us to quiet our minds and emotions so we can hear the guidance of the divine and the murmurs of our own hearts. The process of internalization is a continuing journey toward better communication with one's own innate wisdom and instincts. This is an ongoing process, not an isolated incident. We may also think about those words when we're feeling down and out and allow them to light a fire of hope inside us. The more we investigate their significance in our relationships with others, 
the more levels of meaning and perception we may find. The message calls on us to spread the hope that those words express, to be positive influences on others, and to provide encouragement to those who are struggling. When we take on the qualities of hope, we become instruments of God's mercy and love in the world. Permitting these words to sink into your heart further emphasizes the significance of faith. The foundation of our relationship with the divine is faith, which stands for trust and confidence in God's purpose and knowledge. We are open to the divine word and let it influence our values and behavior because of our religion. A religious belief is not a blind faith. Rather, it is a belief based on one's experiences. In moments of uncertainty or hardship, we are able to gracefully traverse life's intricacies because of our knowledge of the divine and our readiness to let go of our fears and uncertainties. A person's faith acts as a rock, a source of stability and reassurance that they are not in this alone. Religion brings us serenity by letting us cast our cares and anxieties into the compassionate hands of a higher power. Faith also gives us the strength to persevere through tough times. It gives us hope for the future and the ability to see the bigger picture so we can confront adversity with optimism. Listening to the words, there may be a reason and a plan unfolding even in the midst of problems and allowing them to sink in is a beautiful invitation to trust in the divine guidance and wisdom that are available in the here and now even in the face of difficulties. It stresses how close we are to God and how His message, which addresses our deepest values, allows us to absorb His words, which then become a source of inspiration and guidance. Wish will become an inspiration that helps us face life's difficulties head-on with strength and determination. Our connection with God rests on the rock of faith as we embody desire and faith in the face of uncertainty and hardship, we become resources of compassion and encouragement to others around us, creating a positive and resilient ripple effect on a global scale. To those who have found value in this video, thank you for seeing it. In order to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Amen.